Hi there. In this uh, short video, we're going to go over importing the TextMeshPro package as well as the structure of this package. So to begin with, I'm going to delete everything that I have uh, since we'll start fresh and I'm actually going to create a new scene to get rid of what's there. So to import a package, it's pretty straightforward. Just go to your assets uh, window menu. Uh, click import package, custom package, navigate to where your package is located. Uh, in your case, you're going to have just one version of TextMesh Pro, which will be the 0 0.1.30. Import this package. Uh, at this point, uh, make sure everything is selected, all, and click import. Now we're importing the package itself. I'm uh, going to pause the video since the shaders um, get compiled and take a little bit longer to import but I'll resume as soon as that's done. So the package is uh, pretty much done importing. So now we're going to take a look at the structure. So what we added is the plugins folder and then the TextMesh Pro folder. In the plugins folder is basically where your plugins are located for the font asset creator to work. Uh, the first one is the DLL version, which is used on the Windows platform. Uh, which also requires the vcomp120.dll uh, uh, for the Windows platform. Then the tmpro plugin uh, .dylib is for the Mac uh, system. In the TextMesh Pro folder, uh, we basically have the editor folder, example, gizmos, the skins, resources, scripts, and user guides. So if we take a look at each of those. So in the editor folder are all the editor scripts. Uh, in the example folder, you will find um, various examples and test scenes that you can use to test out TextMesh Pro. So for example, if I load this title scene, uh, we can see some pretty stuff right here. But you're welcome to play with all of these and experiment with them. Um, so in there we have the FBX, the materials that are used, the scripts that are used uh, by the demo scenes as well as the textures. Uh, once you're familiar with TextMesh Pro and you start new projects, obviously you don't need this example folder. You can safely delete it and get rid of it. Uh, unless, obviously, you want to retain and keep some of the scripts that are in there. Uh, Gizmo is simply the logo for TextMesh Pro. Then the skins that are used for the light and dark user interface. Then in your resource folder is where the shaders are located, uh, as well as the various font assets that I've pre-included with the package. Uh, these include the TTF as well as the materials and custom font assets. And then we have the scripts that are used in runtime and obviously the uh, most importantly the user guide which is a PDF that uh, you should take a look at. So basically that's it for this short video. This was just uh, showing how to import the TextMesh Pro package and going over the structure of the package itself. Thanks for watching.